Hello everyone, it's Melissa and today I'm back with another fun layout share. I will also have a card share at the end as a little bonus that I used um, and I made it with the scraps from this layout. So what you see me doing there is last weekend I had some fun playing around with some watercolor paper and some Vicki Booten art crayons that I picked up and you know, she posted a series of videos on some fun things you could do just to play and experiment with other medias. And I watched those videos and was very inspired. So I made that rainbow sheet just because I knew that I was going to be documenting St. Patty's Day. And I always usually do that around a rainbow type theme. So for starters, I'm going to cut these colors into strips. That's just an eight and a half by 11 size of watercolor paper. Um, what you saw me do in the beginning of the layout was some of the products that I hope to use, the items I pulled from my jar, which were flare, patterned paper, doilies, cameo, clips, frames, and photo corners. And like I have been trying to do using alpha or thickers or stickers, etc., for um, you know elements on my page. So uh, what I have there is a paper smooches polka dot border and I went ahead with my Big Shot. I sat down and I ran each strip through my Big Shot machine twice. So I did the first half and then the second half. And what I'm doing now is just, you know, not measuring, just using my old fingernail to mark and just kind of cutting off the edges so they can have some randomness and... You know, making these just whatever different kind of sort of kind of the same length as possible. I know that sounds funny, but that's what I'm doing. So the other things I pulled from my stash, I pulled the Echo Park, the Lucky Charm paper collection. You guys have seen me use that multiple times. I also have my spring box of embellishments out, which has Easter and um, St. Patty's Day theme typed elements. Um, the other thing you'll see me use here down the line is a stamp set from My Favorite Things, and it's called Lucky, and not sure if it's still available, but I have used that um, a significant amount of times um, on cards and other areas. So, playing with some frames there, chipboard frames, probably from Simple Stories. Also, the stickers here. I've decided I'm going to use the word Lucky in my title, which I almost always do. Who are we kidding? Uh, my title always is uh, Lucky or Shamrock or something fun. You can see those photos there are printed at two by three and they are of, oh, actually one's a two by three and one's a three by four. And they're actually of my kids um, having some shamrocks, shamrock shakes. So we snuck out amid this Kova 19 stuff, we snuck out to the McDonald's drive through on St. Patrick's Day and indulged in a sweet treat. So they were super happy because it's something we look forward to every year. And so, yeah, I was like, you know what? Let's just go, we'll stay in the car, run through the drive-thru, and then you can have your treat. So they were happy. Uh, so what you see me doing here, I originally used the G28 Copic marker. It was a green color. Colored over the sticker, and I didn't love it. So when all else fails, you know, I always go in with my king size Sharpie marker and I colored everything black. So we'll let that dry for a little bit and move on to other things. I do just glue these strips down. Again, haphazardly, they're wonky and whatever. Um, I use my Tombow Mono adhesive and I really like the way this looks. I wanted those strips incorporated, but the using the polka dot border die gives them um, a less in your face type vibe because the craft is peeking through, which I love. So I'm going to mount these pictures on some green pattern paper from my stash. One of my poles was pattern paper, which um, easy to do. So I have a gold doily there in the background. Also, I will get a photo corner on here at some point. I pulled one from my stash. And while I'm cutting and doing things, I just want to let everyone know that I, I did get all the elements used from my product jar, but 
my um, cameo didn't get used. Also, you know, I will put my links to my other social media sites on Facebook and Instagram. Cut It Up Creations is my business name. And so I will have those links in the description box. A lot of this stuff is old. You guys know I, I'm a stash basher at heart. So um, if you have questions on anything, I will do my best to answer it. I'm not sure about the availability. You know, I'm just plugging away through my stuff here. So, okay. So also I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and um, yeah, subscribe. That would really help me out. Uh, so here I'm just trying to tuck those frames. I cut them in half, both of them. And I also have a Stampin' Up! clip there adhered to the photo because that was in fact one of my pulls and I just going to use it as an element. Um, you know, I'll actually put something on it later down the line, which you will see. So um, let's see what else. Uh, let's see. I eventually will use a stamp. I said the, the stamp set called Lucky, which I only use a small portion of it. So you'll see that too. I'm using some buttons that I probably got from the Dollar Hotspot or from Michaels. And I'm going to remove the pin part from the button and use it a, like ultimately as like a piece of flare. And I'll just use a pop dot, glue dot in the back of that. And I also use some pop dots on the word lucky. Here's me showing you the stamp set. I ultimately am going to use I'm so, which is from that sentiment there, it, it, the stamp set reads, I'm so lucky that you're my friend, but I used a memento marker and just inked up I'm so, using a punch to cut that out, and I'm going to cut it down um, just to use it as word bits to go with the title. So the title will read, I'm so lucky, and then um, I really, really like the way this turns out. I wanted to do my best not to add too much to the page because I did go through the time and effort to make that pattern or make that rainbow paper and so I didn't want to cover it up um, if at all. I really wanted it to. Um, I love it. It's so pretty and they just the colors just meld into each other. It's really really nice and I had really I enjoyed working with those art crayons um, for sure. And actually, from watching, you know, we're on this quarantine here, I'm home with my kids, but from watching all these videos as well, I have been inspired to try my hand at the, the like, jelly plate craze, and I'm looking forward to that. I got myself a jelly plate and some baby wipes, and I'm ready to roll. So, so here's some close-ups. I just use a couple stickers from that sheet, just some shamrocks. And I really, really, really like it. I did some basic journaling, just saying what I already said as far as us sneaking out to get shamrock shakes. And it's one of our favorite sweet treats. So like I said, I would love for you to subscribe. Please, it would really help me out. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And I will put the links to my other sites in the description box. And I so appreciate you watching, taking time out of your day. And if you've made it to the end of the video, you can also see the card I put together with the leftover bits from this um, page. And I'm actually mailing it to a friend to hopefully brighten her day. So thank you guys, and I will see you soon.